Are you serious? Are you serious? Yes, very serious. This earthquake that hit um, uh, in Indonesia, we reported on it last night. Uh, actually, I was driving down the road when we got the uh, information to us that there had been a mega earthquake, 7.0 had hit Indonesia. Now we're getting some of the reports of the damage, what happened. Unfortunately, one person is dead. A teenager was killed. Um, this powerful 7.0 earthquake rocked the remote eastern Indonesia, killing a teenage boy who fell into a river as he fished and damaging several. Uh, so this, this is why he died. He was fishing and the earthquake threw him into a river and killed him. Uh, there was also many buildings that were damaged. This 7.0 magnitude mega quake struck inland in a mountainous area uh, in the early hours of this morning. Okay, because they're on a total different time zone. So uh, it was a 250 kilometers and 100 or 150 miles west of uh, um, the Providence's capital there in the mountains, the United States Geological Survey is reporting the quake was felt very strongly for four seconds. An Indonesian disaster agency spokesman said that the residents panicked and rushed out of their homes. Rescuers were still trying to reach the area closest to the uh, epicenter to see what other damage and other casualties that there still may be. Now, this 15-year-old boy who fell into the river where he was fishing and drowned when the quake hit, uh, local people uh, later recovered his body. Uh, tragedy there. But we still don't know what the total damage is yet or the total casualty count. So pray that there's none. Pray there's no more damage or death but uh, again, when you have earthquakes of this size in remote parts of the world, the ability to get the information on it takes time. That's why I'll report on a 7.0 mega quake. People will say, why are you reporting? Nothing happened. There's no tsunami warnings and no reports. When they're in remote areas, even if there is in a, in a populated area like in, in, a, in, in, a, in America, let's say, the initial reports and the information you start to gather takes sometimes a little bit of time to understand the magnitude of what you're dealing with. Now, Indonesia, they know all about earthquakes and they know all about tsunamis. In 2004, they got hit with a tsunami that was so unbelievably large that it killed about a quarter of a million people. Some estimates were 170,000 people. Some were as much as 240,000 people. Believe me. They know and understand earthquakes, so please pray for them. Now, Jesus said we would have earthquakes and have, have them in different places and diverse places. So we're seeing it. Matter of fact, we're on pace to break the record for the most earthquakes over 6.0 in the history of one year. Yesterday, we had a 6.9 rocking things up in Alaska. And uh, now we have this 7.0 hitting Indonesia. Matter of fact, we've had 46 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. And since this quake hit Indonesia, uh, there, was a, a, there was a lot of quakes. But there was a 4.0 again in Alaska. There was a 4.1 in Oklahoma, which I received a text from Stephen of Oklahoma. And it shook him again in the Tulsa area. There was a 5.1 in Indonesia again, 4.5 in Peru, 4.8 in Peru, 4.8 in Tonga, 4.9 in China, a 5.0 in the Northern East Pacific Rise, and 4.4 in Barbados. Now that's since the 7.0. Again, total. 46 earthquakes in a 24-hour period that are at least 2.5 or more. And folks, I'm telling you, the earth is reeling and rocking like a drunken man. Matter of fact, the Bible says it will in the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 20. So we are hearing the sounds of the apocalypse. 
We are witnessing the water turn blood red in Turkey. We are sensing a September that we may have never seen before. So it's time to give your life to Jesus Christ. It's time to be born again. It is time to be saved by the blood of the Lamb. Repent of your sins. Give your life to Christ. Accept him into your heart. Be born into the kingdom. Don't miss today's live broadcast at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbigleyprophecy.com. And every Friday night you can watch our television broadcast called The Coming Apocalypse on DirecTV channel 367 or Dish Network channel 217. Every Friday night comes on at 11.30 p.m. Eastern for 30 minutes of biblical truth of the end times. Are you saved? 